many of the adaptations of tetrapods to life on land would also be useful in the water. The development of bony limbs and fingers and toes allow an aquatic animal to grasp the bottom, to fight currents, to steer uh, through marshy areas where uh, plants uh, are growing and navigation in open water is difficult. So limbs could have been an advantage prior to uh, the movement onto land. Lungs are certainly an advantage since many areas of water, especially stagnant water, lack adequate oxygen supplies and many fish alive today require supplementing uh, the oxygen coming in through their gills with oxygen breathed uh, from uh, the air. And so uh, many of the adaptations uh, which we see in tetrapods for land would also have been useful in uh, aquatic uh, animals. There were advantages for the early tetrapods in the move onto land. First, they could escape predators. Most of the major predators of the late Devonian were aquatic, and thus in coming onto land, they could evade these predators. Uh, there was the beginning of food sources. Not only could they hunt for fish, but the early arthropods were adapting to life on land. Uh, there were insects, and the insects known from the late Devonian were all wingless. Also, as water dries up, whether this be uh, because of seasonal uh, changes after uh, heavy rains and flooding, or because of the fact that the southern continent of Gondwana was beginning to fuse with the northern continents and the aquatic areas uh, in between were becoming more arid and mountainous. Uh, this would have allowed these animals to survive uh, periods of drying and then also to travel and to uh, spread throughout neighboring waterways. So there were a number of advantages in early tetrapods moving out onto land.